Leos. Hello, how are you this week? Um, this is your weekly reading from January 17th to the 24th. Did I say that right? Yeah, it's the 17th to the 24th. <laughs> Hope you had a good week. If it doesn't resonate with you, then please just um, watch your moon or rising sign. Um, could be in that energy this week. Also, if you like what you see, I'm new to YouTube, so if you could like, subscribe, and share, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, all right, Leos. Looks like there's a lot of fear going on here. It looks like, you know, you kind of popped up right, um, right at the very beginning of your reading, reversed here. So definitely you could be kind of um, letting fear take over your energy here. Kind of seems like almost you're not in your element this week. Um, they have a tower here as well, so that could be sudden change for you. Um, that's really kind of going to rock the stability that you have going on um, right now. But, see, like, a lot of people are scared of the tower. Um, but I really like the tower. It means change, and it kind of means the universe is stepping in to maybe push you um, into a place that's more on your path. Uh, maybe you haven't really felt, um, felt like you've been aligned uh, right now. You might have had a lot of fear and anxiety kind of going on um, in this week. I'm sorry, Leo, that's obviously not a great feeling to have. You're not feeling stable. Um, there's a bit of foundational um, energy here that, that things aren't feeling stable for you. Um, and I think that's really kind of rocking you this week. Um, can more information on this, this tower as well. And then it might not be a space of speak, like, um, you might be having a lot of like brain fog right now, um, kind of, um, you don't know which idea or which place to kind of move next. Things maybe aren't seeing kind of clear to you what direction to go. I think you have the feeling that there's um, something needs to change um, in having that kind of feeling in your life, but just not knowing exactly which way to go. We have the Knight of Wands here as well. Could be, um, again, it's usually like my lover's card. Could be you, just like, I, I don't know why I'm feeling like this Knight of Wands kind of has the energy of wants to kind of get moving, wants to kind of move past something, um, which is interesting because that's not usually what I get from this card. But if definitely if this is you, Leo, I have the energy of you're just kind of like, I'm over it, like, let's get out of here. Um, so there might be an energy of kind of leaving something behind. I mean, you do have the Queen of Wands here. Um, this could be you and your element as well. Lots of wands. So there's definitely a lot of fire energy going on right now um, for you, Leo. Uh, I think this is kind of trying to, the Queen of Wands, you're trying to get into the space where you're kind of, you feel her, you, you want to get to her energy. Um, she's kind of creative. She's kind of her own boss. She knows what she um, wants and what she's doing. And she's kind of just sitting pretty here on her throne. Um, very like decisive. Um, so I think that's the kind of the energy that you're trying to encapture and that you want to encapture. Um, I think the end of your anxiety is on the way for you anyways. It seems like these, this end of, um, of sleepless nights for you. That seems like that was really heavy in your energy before. A lot of confusion. I think you're definitely not sleeping the best. Um, it seems like better times are ahead of you that way. Definitely some change coming in. Can I get more on this tower? Okay, so maybe there's a switch up where something, um, looks like there is a more of a stable offer here. So I have the Two of Cups, that means a relationship. Um, so it could be, I'm kind of getting two things here. Um, the tower could be a relationship here that um, the stability of, of it is kind of rocked. Maybe someone lost their job, um, something like that. But I have the Page of Pentacles here. So there's two stories. I feel like maybe one, of, one side of the story is, um, this relationship change here that's coming in. Another side here is they, um, for you, Leo, says there might be a stable relationship coming in um, and moving forward for you, uh, which is great Great to see. I think someone maybe, you might be planting the seeds for a new relationship or um, maybe an earth sign is coming to come in for you and kind of give you something a little bit more stability. Because it seems like now that the foundation is a little shaken here for you, Leo, and maybe there is someone kind of coming in, a partnership here to help you. Um, to stabilize yourself. Um, can I get more on this Two of Cups? Get more on this Two of Cups. Okay, so you have the Five, um, you have the five Pentacles. So you're not left out in the cold anymore. I feel like you are... <sighs> you 
Yeah, it's going to be someone that's maybe a bit more, um, maybe healthier for you. Maybe um, this person might actually help you out financially because you've been going through a hard time. Um, there's that to look forward to as well, Leo. Put a nice way card dropped here. Hmm. Let me just pull out my card. I'm trying to understand what they're trying to tell me here. I think uh, with this read, I got the Nine of Cups here. Um, with this read, I think it's important for this week to... Um, this is a wish fulfillment. I feel like it's important this week with all this change that's kind of going on in your life and all this like um, unstable energy, I think it's important to stay emotionally grounded. I think it's important to really think of yourself as this energy of like emotionally sitting pretty and you're like, whatever change is happening around me um, is okay. Um, I'll get through it. Um, things will look like will change for the better here, but I'm just gonna emotionally be sound during this whole change and just kind of flow with the tide. Um, Cause it sounds like there's a little bit of disappointment that's here um, coming in. I don't know if the disappointment is through the relationship um, that is, is um, that's come up here or if it's more through um more through work or like uh, maybe money's not coming in the way that um you hoped it would or uh, maybe a new job didn't work out some some kind of financial maybe a house fell through or you're like had to move there's some like big changes happening here for you um and i think it's important for this week for yourself leo just to stay emotionally stable um and just keep yourself you know just keep yourself in the wish fulfillment um you know be like things are positive affirmations of being like things are moving towards uh things are changing this is a good affirmation like, things are changing for me to have a better future um things are changing for me to get what i want things are changing for me um because this is what i hope for and maybe not in the package that i thought it was going to show up in Okay, Leo, like, don't let it get yourself down um, just because things are changing here. And I think whatever this change is, they're just going to bring in some um, financial stability for you, even if it's not here right away. Um, just start, let go a little bit and just, like, let go to the universe and kind of what's happening around you and just realize that maybe this is it meant for you because it looks like it's trying to take you into a place a bit more stable and trying to get you into a place where um, you're more financially abundant. Um, so don't so don't go in the space of lack or that everything is um, my foundation or everything around me is crumbling um, and everything's just going to be horrible and I'm just going to have all these sleepless nights because like my world's crashing around me. Like don't get that energy. It looks like it's a needed um, change. For you to get into a more stable, abundant place. Because I don't know if things are were working out where you were. Like, I feel like you almost had this fear of things changing, that nothing happened. Like, it was like, um, you were sitting in this space of, um, f like, almost just, like, drifting. Um, drifting because you were, you, you were, like, scared of, of, what what could change and, and, and losing the stability and it almost feels like the universe is being like hey um if you're not gonna fucking oh i guess i can say fucking if you're not gonna fucking change i'm gonna make you change um yeah it looks like some fear here that was holding you back um some fear of change for sure even if you thought it was like you knew something needed to change it sounds like you were just like kind of fearing it here you're kind of trapping yourself especially with this energy of black that you're like that you're like um you know that fear of like um just like the fear of change and lack and like things not going your way it looks like that fear was almost like taking over um this week there's a financial offer on the way here there's something a little bit more stable offer coming in um if it's a relationship wise there might be a relationship with an earth sign here because i got kind of the um, the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles so there might be a start of a new relationship with an earth sign here um, maybe someone will kind of come in to bring a little bit of stability into your life. Um, it also could be a new job offer or something like that. So it looks like there's good um, energy that's on the way here. 
what's kind of like the future outcome after all this change for the Leos? What is the future outcome after all this change for the Leos? Please and thank you. You're moving on. So you might be physically moving um, somewhere else, um, but you're moving on away from kind of who you were and what this old situation was. And you're like, that's it, I'm just gonna move forward. And I see that there's a little bit of indecision here. Um, just kind of a lot of indecision. It's like there's like two paths you can kind of almost take here. It kind of feels like this indecision that's coming up here with Hangman reversed and the Two of Swords, it feels like either you're going to stay in the same energy of what you were in this fear, even, or you're just going to kind of go with the flow and go with the tide and let things start to come with for you. Um, instead of feeling like the world is against you, instead of feeling like... Um, Instead of feeling like everything's shit, like everything shit around me, right? Um, you're going to start to get into an energy where you see clearly now, and you see, hey, like, I think get into this energy of the Seven of Swords reversed. I think this is you being like, okay, the universe isn't out for get me uh, to get me. Like I was saying earlier, it's time for a change. This change will be good for me. I'm just going to go with the flow and go with the tide and um, see where kind of life takes me on this kind of new chapter. It's not out to get you, the universe. It's not how it works. We kind of imprison ourselves in our own mind, being like, um, n "This nothing's going to work out for me. I got to, whatever my situation is now, and I'm happy, but, you know, it's better because I am I feel like this is safer for me than to try something new or to, to go somewhere different or to move on from this, right? Um, so let go of that fear and just let go... Um, let go of the fear. Um, wherever this change that is happening is, I feel personally, it's for the better. I think you're going to be happier in the end. Um, but I feel like don't fear that things won't happen for you, or not like not fear that good things are not on the way for you. That just like your life is crumbling, Leo. Because good things are on the way for you. Needed change. Yeah, there's a new beginning for you here, Leo. A new creative beginning, a new start. Um, so just trust the process and trust that things are actually moving for you for your faith. Uh, moving for you in your favor. Let's pull some Oracle cards here. Show the world the real you. Um, <clears throat> full moon Aquarius. So maybe you're just kind of moving into a space that's more, something that's more fulfilling for you. Um, showing the world who you really are. Um, you're not kind of letting this fear get at, um, the best of you anymore. You're kind of moving into a space where you get to kind of be the real you. I'm going to little block intuition here, the moon, uh, the goddess of the moon reversed. This could be a block in intuition. I feel like this is the block of you being like, I know something needs to change um, in my life or things are changing in my life. Um, and I feel that I'm scared, <clears throat> but I just got to trust the process and move forward. And that's kind of, I think, your lesson for this week, Leo. I hope that helped.